Right, guys, as you know, Boris is talking about implementing Plan C after the new year. This is something I mentioned in my video last night, and let's be honest, we knew it was coming anyway. Now, you might have also heard that Tory MPs are against Plan B and jab passports in larger numbers than any time before. This, you would think, would make Boris Johnson stop what he's doing, but it's not going to happen, and I can tell you why. At the end of the day, he's going to carry on and go for Plan B because they've got Labour, the so-called opposition, doing all they can to push for more restrictions and saying they're going to vote alongside him, as you've likely heard at this point. This means he knows that they're going to vote for it in the House because they're singing from the same hymn sheet, as I've said before. Literally two cheeks of the same arsehole at this point. Now, with that being said, it does not make Labour a lost cause entirely, I've got to say. I would say the backbench MPs might be easy to convince that voting against the government is actually good for them at the ballot box. In fact, to test that, I might start emailing Labour MPs telling them voting against the government could well win them votes back. I will say the public don't support more restrictions based on guesswork that's literally been wrong all year. I will bring up the parties and lies throughout before making it seem like I would support them if they actually oppose Plan B. Of course, I bloody won't support them regardless of what they do, but they've been lying to us for years, so why can't we do the same to them is my thinking here. In fact, this is something you could literally all do as well, and it might well help at the end of the day. Businesses seem to be against Plan B and the government's lie, so we can use that against these MPs. The same is also true for backbench Tory MPs who have not already come out against it, which, let's be honest, there's still a fair few. Telling them it's anti-conservative and all of that should make them listen or you expose them as a corrupt commie bastard that they are. Either one is a good thing in my book, I've got to say. Now, as far as I'm aware, the government plans to bring this vote forward on Tuesday, so that gives us the whole weekend and the start of next week to put some pressure on these MPs. If you have the time and can be bothered, email your MP using the links in the comment section and video description. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.